Top right corner at 133 pounds. Frost getting ready to move on to the second round, the number two seed. And then just getting started, top left at 133 pounds. Cade Moore and Bubba Wright out of Air Force. A minute left in the first period. Over here on mat number three, we got Tegan Jamison from Oklahoma State. He is the two seed. His record is 18 and six. He is facing Caden Smith from Oklahoma. His record is three and five. These two young men wrestled in Bedlam in December. Jamison had a controlling lead, got banged up during that match, ended up gutting it out. So trying to find a way to continue to move through this tournament. And my apologies out there for any Mustang folks. I said Tucker Owens was from Tuttle. He's actually from Mustang. Okay. Shout out Mike Walkup gave me that information. You got all this information running through your head. Sometimes it kind of gets crumbled up. <laughs> Only 130 wrestlers <laughs> to get to know. It's, it's no big deal. Six to three, Titus with the lead in your bottom right corner on Matt Four as they approach a minute to half, minute and a half to go in the second period. Titus has had a really good year. I remember him as a red shirt freshman, how he struggled a little bit just with, uh, you know, talking to a lot of these coaches about the daily grind of being a, a wrestler, um, college wrestler for that matter. But now he's to the point to where he's the, you know, he's ranked nationally. He's been as high as nine in the nation. And I mean, I tell you what, he's continued to get better throughout this season. And he's, he's grown as a wrestler. Um, pretty sure he's probably even grown as a young man, too. Taking and that's Jameson, what you want to see. Taking Jamison with an early takedown and a 3 0 lead on that three bottom left corner. You can, if you'd like to, on ESPN Plus, pull up individual feeds of all four of these mats as well. So that is another option for your viewing pleasure. If you'd like to just call up one individual mat and watch your favorite wrestler square off. You see on the bottom of your screen the now next bar telling you what is coming up on each respective mat yep. as we get into 149 pounds here in the not too distant future. Yep. Just moving right along, one after another, right? Smith with the escape makes the score 3 0, or 3 1, sorry. Let's see. Got a little... Trying to see everybody that we got on down here on mat number one. Got Cade Moore from Missouri and Bubba Wright from Air Force. Cade Moore is the sixth seed at this weight. Very unique style. Um, he's pretty dangerous from all positions. Talking to Coach Brian Smith earlier this week. He was banged up and sick a little bit during the Oklahoma State duel. Was unable to compete there, but I'm excited to watch this guy wrestle live. Hadn't had a chance to do that just yet this year. Three more for Tegan Jamison on that three and a 6-1 advantage. Got our guy Nick Turner as going out there. Let these officials know that when times are up. See these other guys walking on the mat, getting to the official, keep their eye on the clock, right? This is, uh, I mean, this is crunch time. This is crucial time for all of these athletes in these buildings. And, you know, these coaches in these corners, like, this is what they're working for, right? That postseason time. I got another reviewer. Looking at some time on mat number two. Not for sure what they're doing over there. Mat one, two to one as Wright got the escape there late in the second period. So that's a tight one as they head to the final stanza. Cade yeah. Moore out of Allen High School, a powerhouse program down in Texas. Number 22 in the national rankings, the sixth seed. Moore does have a buck 32 of riding time. That's not locked yet, but he's in good shape in that regard. Yep. Some green. Caden Smith with the escape there. Makes that score six to two for Jamison. Titus down there on mat number four, getting some swipes. Trying to get himself to attack fall, 15 to four, the advantage under a minute left. Moore and right, down to a minute left in the third and a 2-1 match. Jamison.
Jamison with another takedown. You know, and talking to Coach Smith this morning, the takedown and yep. now a 5 1 advantage. You know, Mike, and you were on these calls as well. You know, talking to Coach Smith and kind of going through the lineup, that was one of the things he asked or wanted to see from Jamison is, you know, be aggressive, get to his double leg, get to his attacks. Um, pretty much that was kind of the theme for all the coaches that we talked to, really, right? Get to your attacks, wrestle in your positions, wrestle yep. where you're comfortable at. And three more for Cade Moore, quickly taking control in this third period. And preparing to move on at 133 pounds. Another three-point takedown for Tegan Jamison late in this second period. And what they're, they're, you see Coach Scott and Chris Perry in the corner. They're trying to see if he can get a bottom leg cradle. cradle. Um, Smith did a really good job of crawling forward. When you're in that position and you feel that bottom leg being trapped, you got to crawl forward a little bit. You want to try to keep them below the knee if possible. Oh, Jameson went right to a turn. We talked Jordan about Titus moving on. Short time wrestling, right? That score was 12 to 3 with probably, I don't know, four or five seconds left in the period. And he ends up getting that tilt. Now it's 15 to 3. And a chance for Jamison to add another tech fall to the list for Oklahoma State with a couple points here in this final period. Cade Moore moving on, three third period takedowns for an 11-3 win in what was a very tight match to start yep. off the final frame. And he moves on at 141 pounds to the quarterfinals. You know, and one of the, I say, one of the big dogs that is, that are, that's not here at 141 pounds, the returning national champ, Andrew Alirez from Northern Colorado was taking an Olympic red shirt here, trying to represent the United States in the 2024 Paris Games. Take a with the tail fall. And once again, that was one of the things Coach Smith was talking about. Get to your offense, right? They were talking about this guy, those guys' week of, uh, of training and everything. And like I said, it was a common theme from every coach.